Welcome back everyone. In my video today, I will be discussing how to maintain a credit card. In order to maintain a credit card, you need to understand what a credit card consists of. You can compare a credit card to the type of friends you have. For example, you with your friend and you ask them if you can borrow some money. Keyword, borrow. Your friend will give you a date or when they expect for you to give them their money back. You might have a friend who expects you to pay them more than what they've given you. A friend who charges you a fee up front due to the amount of times you borrowed from them. Or even a friend who charges you just for being their friend. Let's get into how to maintain a credit card. Here is what a credit card statement looks like. When looking at a credit card statement, the most important section is the payment information. It lists the new balance, also known as the statement balance, payment due date, and minimum payment due. The new balance is the total amount you currently owe now from your last billing statement. The minimum payment is the minimum payment amount you have to pay, in this scenario, $25, by the payment due date, January 23rd, 2018. You need to pay the minimum amount required before or on the payment due date to avoid any interest and fees. A payment is only considered to be on time if it's received by 5 p.m. the latest. Anything received later than that will be considered late. If you're late on your payment, you can say hello to that late fee and a drop in your credit score. Tip number one, never pay the bare minimum. Always pay more than what is being asked. My opinion, if they ask you to pay $25, pay $50. Always double because this is how credit card companies get you. If you pay just the bare minimum, it will take you longer to pay off your credit card because interest will be added and you will then be stuck in credit card debt. Chase gives you an example of how the outcome will look if you just stick to paying the minimum. Here, if you only pay the minimum and make no additional charges to this card, you will be able to pay off the balance within seven years. Seven years, ending up paying the total of $2,017. Now remind you, you only owe $1,258. But if you only pay the minimum, the interest will be added and you'll end up paying almost an extra thousand dollars. It's not worth it. Now, here is something I learned. The payment due date is when the minimum payment is required and not the full balance. You need to pay off the full balance by the closing date. On this card statement, the closing date is December 26, 2017. So that means your next closing date is January 26, 2018. The closing date marks the day that your statement is generated. Every transaction you make with your credit card between one statement closing date and the next closing date will appear on your following statement. Your statement closing date is when all the credit bureaus check to make sure you have all your utilization. People have this idea that paying your credit card off entirely before the due date is what helps increase your credit. That is not the case. If you want to have an excellent standing credit score, the utilization has to be 10% or less of $12,000. As you can see here, 10% of $12,000 is $1,200. The max you should be spending on your credit card is $1,200. Now look at this. On your credit card statement, it says your new balance is $1,258.56. As you can see here, you're more than 10% of $12,000 by $58.56. So to fix that, your minimum balance should be $58.56. Now this is a way to help boost your credit score drastically. But the good credit tip is always try to use less than 30% of your available credit to reach a good goal. Keep in mind that using some available credit and paying it off monthly may be better than not using any credit at all. Now that I told you how to avoid a late fee, let's talk about how to avoid interest. You recalled I stated that the next closing date is January 26, 2018. So by that time, all you need to do is pay off $1,258.56. That's not including the purchases you'll make from December 26, 2017 to January 26, 2018. Let's say you spent $2,000 on your credit card statement. Now your new balance would be $3,258.56. Remember, all you have to do is pay off that previous balance statement. So January 26, 2018, just pay off $1,258.56 and you don't have any interest being added, which means that the following month, February 26, 
26, 2018, you just have to make sure you pay off $2,000, not including your future purchases. So with that being said, comment down below. If you have any questions, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification button because there are more contents coming to you.